The Ghana Medical Association has described the contents of a petition against the vaccine rollout filed by some doctors as misleading and also not based on available local and international scientific data. The GMA in a statement issued on Wednesday, January 12th, said among other things that it finds the contents of the petition misleading, unfortunate and not based on available local and scientific data. You remember that some 11 doctors have written to President Adodango Kufuado to issue a directive for a nationwide vaccine rollout in the fight against coronavirus pandemic to be paused. Let's have a conversation on the back of this. Dr. Titus Bayer is the General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. has joined us on phone for more on this. Dr. Griffith, for your time with us on Midday Live. GMA, you disagree uh, with your colleagues who seem to be against the, the mandatory vaccination. They have cited what they think is data. What, what are your reasons? Um, if you take, pay close attention to their petition, you will notice that even though the, 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 the title is uh, against the vaccine mandate, if you go into the content, not much is said about the mandatory nature of the vaccine, but rather criticizing the efficacy, the safety, um, of the, 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 the vaccine and suggesting other treatment modality. Mm. But in their conclusion, nothing was mentioned about the mandatory vaccination. Because if it's the issue of the mandatory vaccination, the GMA has not issued an official position on that. Okay. We think it is something that is subject to legal interpretations. Mm. And we want to leave that. But if you come to the signs, we would... Uh, we disassociate ourselves completely with the statement being made mm. that the vaccine is not safe. There is no, and uh, they, they, uh, they, they stated at some point that there is no uh, available local uh, uh, data okay. uh, on the safety of this mm. vaccine. And, and that is a, a very contestable position okay. because the Medical Association is aware, for instance, that our Food and Drugs Authority which has a level four categorization when it comes to medicine safety monitoring worldwide, uh, which is a very high ranking, set up a committee of experts. This committee meets every two weeks. They've so far had over 13 meetings mm. to assess every single complaint of adverse events following immunization, locally okay. and internationally. They are mm. monitoring what is happening on the global stage and the data coming in from Ghana. And a simple call to the FDA will tell you the common complaints that have come, the adjudication processes that they've gone through, scientific evidence process, to see if there is any causal link between the vaccines available now and these complaints. Right. So, uh, Dr. Dr. Bayo, you're saying that yes. the data they are relying on is flawed and skewed. But uh, there's a clear case of misinformation, if you like. Uh, how is the GMA ensuring that the right data, the right information gets to the public? So they do not have to, you know, be willing to consume these uh, cases when they happen. Sorry, I didn't get the last part. How is the GMA ensuring that what? How is the GM ensuring that the public gets hold of the right data such that they are not easily gullible to these, if you like, misinformation out there? Yeah, so we've been doing this mass education through platforms like yours over and over, emphasizing on the safety, emphasizing on the efficacy of the vaccine. We have given local data, and I can tell you on authority, in one of the recent reports from Kolebu, of six people who died of COVID, five of them were unvaccinated. Mm. Only one person was vaccinated, and that person has some comorbidity. If you go to the infectious disease center, we have stated that, look, COVID, the vaccine will not protect you from getting the infection. It reduces your risk of getting infection, but you may get infected. And we've seen that in other countries where a lot of vaccinated people get infected. But one thing that has been proven scientifically that a vaccine reduces symptomatic disease, it reduces severe disease, it reduces risk of ICU admission, and reduces death okay. in 
in the public data, it reduces the risk of death by almost 98%. Mm. So you need to give us contrary data to this to convince anybody that this vaccine is not useful. Okay. So the association continues in our effort, and we want to use this medium to urge all medical practitioners and healthcare workers that because of the kind of position we occupy in society, we should be guided in our public discourse. Because people who cannot independently verify the data we put out, may take them and take health decisions and choices mm. that may be inimical to their health. Right. Thank you.